Hey guys, so in this tutorial, let's check out how to implement Gemini AI in our Flutter application. So let's get started. So here I have created a demo application for you. So let's check it out. So here I have created Flutter chatbot application by making use of Gemini AI at the back end. So if you ask anything to this chatbot, it will just respond to you whatever you ask. Okay, so I will just ask something and it will just respond to me. So let me check. Write code for software developer so now if i submit this okay so it will just process and it will just respond me in quick time so you can see it gave me some response okay, so let me ask some other thing okay like write a code to add two numbers okay so i'm just asking simple thing okay so you can see it go give me a python code to add two numbers so like this we can ask anything to this chatbot gemini chatbot and you can just get the response and build your own chatbot application in flutter so let's check out how we can build this so please know that i'm not going to cover each and everything in the front end thing because i will just provide this source code on my website protocoldespoint.com so you can get the source code complete source code from there okay so to communicate with gemini ai we need a api key so let's check out how we can get an api key for that okay so just visit google and search for gemini ai api API key and you will get this website built with Gemini API okay so just visit that okay so now over here just click on the button that says get API key in Google AI studio so just visit again here so you are you can get it from here get API key and here just create a new API key so I have already created that so just click over here and you can just select any of this project so if you have created your project in Google cloud you will get the your project over here and you can just select any uh, projects over here and just create a api key in your existing project so you can just get it from here and just copy this thing and now let's go to our flutter application and store it in some variable okay so what i will do i will just create a variable and i will just store it over here okay key. You cannot copy this API key because I'm going to delete it after this video tutorial. Uh, okay, so I have just copied this API key so I can just make use of it to communicate with our uh, uh, Gemini AI. Okay, so now let's check out what I have done in this uh, Flutter code. So I have created a new Flutter project and named it as Chat AI. And then here I have just created a scaffold widget which simply contain a container. So inside this container, I have just created a decoration so that I can just create this background images over here. Okay. And then down somewhere over here, I have created, I made use of column widget. And inside this column widget, at the end of this, I have just showed a text form field. And then uh, I have created a button so that the user can type a message over here and then submit. And that message will be shown over here okay so i'm not going to cover as i said means each and everything okay so this is the basic thing i have just coded and kept okay so now when i press on this button i need to communicate with our gemini ai to get the data okay so what i will do i will just create a function over here and i will just name it as uh, talk with gemini okay so this is the function name so i will just create this function somewhere over here okay so i will just create this future function which will return nothing okay and let me make this a sync so to communicate with our gemini ai there is a dependency called as uh, generative gemini ai so we need to just add it in our pop specification.yaml file so just open pop specification.yaml file and under dependency section over here just add it generative Okay, so it is Google uh, Generative AI. Okay, so Google Generative, and with this we also need Intel. So just add these two dependencies and hit this pub get button. Okay, so now we can just import it and make use of it. So let me import import Google Generative AI. Okay, so now we can make use of this Google Generative AI package to communicate with our Gemini AI. So let's check out how. So for this, I have created a button. So when this button is been pressed, I am just simply calling a function talk with Gemini. And inside this function, I'm going to communicate with our Gemini AI. Okay, so let's check out how we can do that. So first of all, we must create a model. So we can just name it anything. So model. Okay, so I will just generate your model. I will just make use of. So here inside this model, we must pass which model of Gemini AI we must use. So I'm just making use of Gemini Pro model. 
okay so you can you just need to define this thing and here we just need to pass this api key just pass this api key we can just make use of this model to communicate with our gemini ai so let's check out how so here final response so we'll just name it as response okay so we have created this function as async we can make use of await over here so model dot generate content okay so here we can just pass a message okay so here we must pass a message so if we check the data type that this accept uh, that is of type list okay so it rebels context of type list okay so here we must pass a, pass a list something like this okay so for this we are going to take an input from this text field so for now what i will do i will just create a dummy uh, data or a string so here i will just create a message and i will just keep it hello okay and this message i need to pass it over here so i want to just convert this uh, um, simple text or a string into a list format so for this we can make use of uh, context dot text and convert it so here final content equal to so here we can make use of content dot text or text and here we can just pass our message and then we can just pass this content over here okay and once we get the response from our gemini we can just print it and show you the response so we're just printing the response over here okay so let me run this application or restart this application again okay so the app got restarted so now let me press on this button and get the response from my gemini ai so you can see i'm just passing this message that is hello and i will get the get the response over here so if i press on this button so let's wait so you can see i got the response over here okay but it is not in the readable form so we need it is an object or instance of a class so we must uh, get the text over here so i just forgot about that okay so let me refresh this application so i have just printed the text response from here so response.text so i've got restarted so let me press on this button and you will get the response over here so let's wait i'm just printing it so you can see it is saying how can i assist you so if i change this message to some other message so like write a uh, code for me okay so if i do this refresh okay so this message will be passed to our gemini ai by making use of this model and our api key and i will get response over here so i'll just press on this button let's wait now okay so you can see i got the response about this gemini ai write a code for me okay so this is how you can implement uh, gemini ai in your application so now let's work with the ui thing so i will just fast forward this thing you can you can get the source code from my website protocolrespond.com so it is just a ui thing uh, to show this messages whatever you have typed uh, over here okay so i will just fast forward this ui thing